All right, let's install Infostar. Uh, you could get it from this website, infostar.de. There's the Arma 2 version, it's $30 or 30 euros. And if you download it, I just downloaded this today. You get a zip file, it looks like that. So extract it and go into your server folder. If you do, if you have a server host, you download your PBOs, you want to go into your mission PBO first, extract that, and go into init.sqf and change the daisy anti hack to zero to turn it off. And the same thing with the remote security. Save that, close it, and uh, I'm not going to back this up. That's, you know, there's nothing to that. So, all right, re PBO that, delete that one, right? There's a new one. Go into your server PBO, extract that, and you need to copy this folder over. And you need to add your Steam ID into this ahconfig.sqf, right? I don't know. This used to fill it in for you, I guess, but it doesn't do it anymore. So I got mine in the these epoch admin tool updates I'm doing. All right. Okay. So you paste your Steam ID in there like that, save that, close it, and you need to go into init, server functions, and scroll to the bottom. And there's a fatal flaw in the install instructions. This is, uh, I've had messages on my uh, YouTube account asking for this install video because people are having problems installing it and I'll show you why. Uh, if you scroll down here, this is the install instructions here. Um, this line right here you copy paste to the bottom of server functions.sqf. This is incorrect. Let me show you how to fix it. Paste it there. You need to have the full Half the uh, cert, uh, PBO prefix. So copy or highlight on this line above. Highlight what I have there. Copy that and paste it in here uh, right after the parenthesis. So it looks just like that. That's fine. That's the way it's supposed to look right there. Yeah, uh, you can get rid of this. You're not passing any arguments, so. If you want to get rid of that you can some people just like to leave that in there for some reason but this will work right here so make yours look exactly like that save that close it and that is all you have to do for that I'm not gonna back this up that's an easy edit so All right, delete that and um, so you need th there's a couple of DLLs I think this is I guess this says update arm log that's the actual arm log uh, if you're using a server host they may not allow you to use custom DLLs like that or they have to install them for you but it doesn't matter if you don't use them it just tells you in the server RPT that they couldn't find it it doesn't matter um, so copy both of those over and some of these other ones are just like this is uh, instructions in German and then you've got a, I think this is a website yeah uh, this file here has your PayPal information in it and your server key so save that don't get rid of that don't show that to anyone because that's got a, a key in it uh, actual I'm not sure what the key does but I think it has to do with the website battle eye filters we're doing epoch epoch and overpoch are the same these suck 
All right, I'm going to do a follow-up video and show you how to do fat life filters. I was a bit reluctant to do it because the guy charging $30 for an anti-hack should be doing this. I mean, this is garbage. This is garbage. This doesn't do anything. I, I He's got a statement in there. Uh, what, in the read me or something? Oh, wait, here. He says you're on your own for battle life filters, basically. He's got some links in here for some tools. This one is really good. We'll be using that in the next video. Um, see, it says if it doesn't work, you have to deal with it yourself, right? So that's kind of shitty, but okay. Uh, so just to log into the server, when you install Epoch, you, you use the Epoch, uh, filters. The ones you have to worry about are public variable dot text. And I don't know if this has been updated or not. It doesn't appear so. I don't think it has. So we'll be using these, but this is going to be a pain in the ass, and you'll see it. Uh, this is why I don't like doing it for Infostar, because Infostar has, uh, generates its own uh, random variables that's a pain in the ass to deal with. But we will, in public variables.txt, the one you download, um, the second line with the five in front of it, that means kick. This means one means log. Uh, hit end and then you want to copy these over this also doesn't work very well I've seen server owners on the forum say you know they they were getting kicks even with that so I changed that but you need these three okay that's all you need out of public variables dot text from the download and then open up yours from your server click on the same line and hit end and then space and paste and I'm going to change this, get rid of that regex stuff, and just put a parenthesis here, a parenthesis here, and do that. All right, equals means it has to match exactly, right? These are fine, but that this one is not. So we're going to, this basically will whitelist anything that starts with this. So we're doing it that way. So do it this way. Um, you can leave it the other way if you want. If you start seeing kicks, then change it. Uh, I just do it like this automatically. Um, yeah, these are all exact. For the Epoch stuff, anyway. Now you can leave it like this. You know... Uh, in fact, let's just do it that way. Let's see what happens. I'll leave it like this, but you see the way I did it. If you notice you're getting kicks, change it. But let's put it like this for now. Okay. And scripts.txt is the other big one you got to worry about. The rest of them are fine. I didn't notice any kicks on any of that stuff. It's public variable.txt and the scripts.txt. That you have to worry about unless you're doing like the building spawner then you have to do create vehicle otherwise everything else should be fine scripts.txt edit it with notepad plus plus and you see all these are set to kick that five means kick except for exec vm and what's the other one compile uh they Epoch devs left them in there like that. I, I'm not sure why. I think that's because they weren't confident that they're... Um, maybe because they didn't test all the maps or something. I don't know. But anyways, you want to change all these to a one. So uh, hit the... Put your cursor there on line two in front of the five. And you're going to use this red macro button to start recording. So hit record. And then you're going to hit the delete key. You're going to hit one on the number pad, uh, home key, and then down arrow, and then stop, and then just play it. You see it's creating a one. It's replacing the five with a one on each line. You want all ones here.
don't hit the play till the end of file with that because you know then you'll put ones in front of this shit you don't want that so just do it like this okay save it close it and that's all you need to do there there is a there there's a there's an error in this um version 4 1448 i don't know why it's still there it's been out since january but there's a fix for it and it's here and i'll show you the error when we log in this is bullshit but it is what it is uh yeah so start the server i already have my client going just start the server and we're gonna log in If you did the install correctly, then you should be able to hit F2 and get the admin menu. But you're going to see an error come up here. First time login is generally a pain in the ass, especially with those DLLs in there. It's generating some files. And call, uh, call extension pauses the engine too, so... There it is. That's on an official release, by the way. That error. Isn't that bullshit? So, as you can see in the upper right corner, we have a debug monitor. You can turn that on and off with N key. And if you hit F2, you'll get your admin panel. And hit escape to close it. And that error message that popped up, you can fix that with this. I'll put a link to this post. Uh, red link, put this fix in there. And you, you just open up this file, find this block of code, and replace it with this block of code, and it's good. Okay? Uh, so, in the next video, I'm going to install... In fact, let's install this right now. Um, BattleEye Remote Control. This is an updated version of Dart, basically. It's free. Um, I don't know if Infistar bought it from Dart, but he has updated it. This is a nice feature. I guess this kind of makes up for the, uh, you know, that error that he's got in version 14.48. So, click on that. You got a free download. Save it. And let's install it. This is an Archon tool, by the way. Okay, so you, you you just run it right in here. So copy that whole folder over to your desktop, open it up, and you just double click on the EXE. I guess there's some other stuff. You can, uh, if you don't have Infistar installed, you can Um, this is to report Steam IDs and stuff to the de to the to his database to add them to the ban list because this has a shared ban list. The instructions are in there anyway. Um, double click on brc.exe, and it looks like Dart because it is it's a newer version of Dart. Um, this. Whoa, it's updating? Yeah, okay, it's updating. Okay, so I'm logged in here. And the, the, what you do is, um, I already had this installed once before, so apparently it has my configs. Um, you'll do 127.0.0.1 for um, this server if it's on your gaming machine. This was, um, you could choose Arma 2 or Arma 3. And I chose Arma 2, that, that's disappeared now. The Archon port is the same as the game port. Uh, that was 2302. <coughs> Excuse me, if you um, remember. 
there's your port number in the batch file and your Archon password you may remember from my install video I said make that complicated because somebody can use a tool like this if you have a shitty password they can find out what it is log into your server and wreck all kinds of havoc on it so don't do that go into your DZE server config fo folder and battle I go into this BE server file and notice it changes it when the server is on but it's BE server config there's your Archon password make sure that's not bullshit make sure that's a difficult password when you installed your server so whatever that password is that goes in here okay so I'm logged into my server now I can see there's me I can right click I can ban myself I can kick myself I can message myself right I can send a global message to the server hello right so there it is if I right shows down there in the lower left hand corner and send messages to the players I don't know if some of you have probably seen an Archon tool, but that, that you know it does that. You can kick and ban players. This is the preferred way to do it. And you can disconnect, you can refresh. Uh, there's some what settings. You can go through these settings and set it up how you want. Name and chat. It just says admin. You can change that to your name, you know. Uh, well that Okay, so how do you save that? Oh, apply settings, I'm sorry. Okay, so now it's showing my name. Yeah. Okay. Um, what we're going to use this for in the next video is we're going to use this execute function to reload scripts. Uh, that's scripts.txt when we uh, update the... Um, update the scripts because you what you need, take a look here when wait I'm already in here right okay I don't want that uh, what the hell am I looking at what happened to my hold on battle eye you see that scripts.log is already at 871 kilobyte it's spamming the shit out of this thing with these would all be kicks. So the next video I'm going to show you how to deal with BattleEye and set up BattleEye filters for Infistar. It's a pain in the ass. I hate doing it. But I'm going to do it for you. And all you have to worry about is scripts.txt, really. Uh, and create vehicle if you're going to use the building spawner. If you go into um, F2, spawn menu, buildings. If you spawn these, you will get kicked. Um, right? Let me spawn something. Something that's not... Let's see. Some things may be whitelisted, but most of it is not. Like this. Right? See, I got kicked. Alright, create vehicle. I recommend not using that building spawner, personally. Otherwise... What you can do, this is cool. You guys good with that? Okay, so we'll be using that um, to reload scripts when we update them. Uh, that's just a cool free tool. I, I, I appreciate him putting that on there. I, I really wish he wouldn't have the error, you know, that you have to fix with this. Uh, that's To me, that's unacceptable. But, so... Yeah, see, we're already at 906 kilobyte here. It's just spamming the shit. So uh, we'll be using that. Create vehicle. Right? I got kicked for this. That's a line zero. In fact, we'll do that in the next video, okay? Um, basically, this is line zero. Line two is zero, right? There's no zero. There's a one, which is a comment, and then line two. Uh, it starts counting at two. So you don't want to sit here and add all these exceptions. So when you're going to use the tool, change this to a one. And then also on this 16, some of them are land, right? I just change them to ones. 
But that's it for this video. That's Infostar plus Infostar's free Archon tool called BRC. And uh, we'll do Battle Eye filters next, all right?